Yo, it's Dave. We're back on Crappy today, taking a look at broken user authentication. It is challenge number three, and our goal is to reset the password of a different user. So the things we need to do is find an email address of another user on Crappy, which I did in my last video, so that shouldn't be hard. So let's jump right in. So I remember in our community tab, we could go on here, and if we leave a comment, And then I'm going to jump over to Zap to look at the request that I just made, which is here. So, this response here is giving us the ID, the title, his post. Okay, so here in the author section, it's giving us the nickname Adam. And it's also giving us his email, adam007 at example.com, as well as his vehicle ID and all of this. So I am going to use this email here, adam007 at example.com, to try and figure this challenge out. So brute forcing might be the answer. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to log out. Go to forgot password. Now email ID, I'm gonna put Adam007 at example. And then I'm gonna send the one-time passcode. Now it sent it to the email ID. And now this page is asking for the code and the password. So let's take a look at our request that we made here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in uh, just a random zero, one, two, three. And invalid OTP. Please try again. So let's look at that request, which is here. Okay, so we made a post request to this URL which is the v3 check OTP URL. This is an API endpoint. And in the body, we put in our email, or Adam's email, the OTP code, and the new password. And we got back this invalid OTP. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the request editor. And I'm gonna do a few more here. There it is. Okay, so I remember that this thing said, if you face any protection mechanisms, remember to leverage the predictable nature of REST APIs to find more similar API endpoints. So what I'm assuming it means is if I send this a few too many times, there might be a limit. There it is. So. Let's go ahead and jump back to that response here. It's 503. You've exceeded the number of attempts. So what I'm going to do is open it back up in the repeater or the request editor. And I'm going to try a V1. And this is a 404, so there's no V1. I'm going to go ahead and change it to V2. All right, so with V2, we are getting that invalid OTP response again. And no matter how many times I'm sending it, I am not getting a 503. So that must mean we need to use this one, the V2 endpoint. Now, why this works is over time, APIs, uh, you know, develop and grow. And sometimes these older versions are left online unknowingly to the host and don't have the same protections that the newer updated ones have. And this is what we're taking advantage of right here. Now. I'm going to right click and fuzz this. So. We need a fuzz location that is going to be our OTP code here.
back to numbers. I'm going to go with 0 to 9999. And then processors, add, expand, begin, 0, 4. Very nice. All right, so there we go. Number of payloads, 9,999. And we will start. And we're off. Yeah, this says invalid. Maybe we took too long setting up the fuzzer. Let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, forgot password. Adam007. Send it. Try 000. zero, zero. Invalid, jump back over. Okay, this is it here. So, we are going to change. We're going to edit this to V2, right? Yeah. And then save. Go ahead and add this stuff again. Numbers from 1 to 99999. Processors expand. Begin 0, 4. Looks good. And we are going to start it up. And then why this, while this goes, I am going to jump back over to the mail and just see the ants, see what it is. Okay, so the new code is 1913. Let's see if our fuzzer hit that. Nineteen thirteen here. This is the request, and it says OTP verified right here. So let's go ahead and stop this. All right, it's right at the top, 200, 1913. So our password for Adam should be changed to this, and that's it. We changed his password by abusing the OTP and brute forcing it, and it didn't take very long, because it's only four digits.